hello so this is the third video of abstract algebra mm -hmm. so in the last class we had covered till the 13th example and in this class we'll be covering seven more that is from 14 to 20 examples of groups so so these all are some basics and i won't be detailing it much if you know what the complex numbers and the concept of complex numbers these will be really easy i mean i can't teach the complex numbers from beginning in this uh, video so be uh, thorough with the concept of complex numbers and then watch this so the complex numbers uh, set of all complex numbers z mm -hmm, comes like this is a group under the operation a plus b i plus c plus d i equal to a plus c plus b plus d i hmm? an imaginative part this okay so the element 0 equal to 0 plus 0 i belongs to z is the identity you can write 0 as this then inverse of a plus b i is minus a minus b i now 15th the non zero complex numbers that is z star are a group under the operation okay a plus b i and c plus d i equal to a z minus b d plus a d plus b z multiplied whole multiplied with i clearly 1 is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 0 into i it is the identity then multiplicate multiplicative inverse will be 1 by a plus bi so how we get that i have given it here you can check with this 1 plus sorry uh, 1 by a plus bi that is equal to 1 by a plus bi into we can write a minus bi by a minus bi it gives you 1 so like it won't make any difference we can just write it for the step then that will be equal to uh, 1 into a minus bi a minus bi by we know this a plus b into a minus b gives you a square plus b square a square plus b square so this can be written as a by a plus b square minus b by a square plus b square into i okay so that's it next six, uh, 16th one for all integers n equal to or greater than 1 the set of complex nth roots of un that is is a group under multiplication you, we, you know what is un and all no? we have discussed it in the last class i won't be repeating it just go through all the classes okay so the closure to prove so here we need to prove how it becomes closure okay there is a huge honking here i hope it won't disturb my class so here we are proving the closure then we need to prove associativity then identity mm -hmm. then inverse then only it will be a group right so closure z1 and z2 belongs to un z1 raised to n equal to z2 raised to n is equal to 1 mm -hmm. then this can be written like this so that is equal to now for associativity for every z1 z2 z3 belongs to un this will get satisfied next for identity one is one among nth roots of unity and hence one belongs to un and it is the identity of the element now let's prove the inverse existence of inverse so let z belongs to un then zn is equal to one so consider 1 by z then 1 by z whole raised to n is equal to 1 by z raised to n that is equal to 1 by 1 is equal to 1 so 1 by z belongs to un that is proved therefore z multiplied by 1 by z gives you 1 and that is equal to 1 by z uh, multiplied by z belongs to for all z this, this is what to say true hence 1 by z is the inverse of z because it gives you the one, the identity one. Now, seventeenth, the set of all real numbers 
is a group under component wise addition not normal component wise addition we know what component wise addition is so let a equal to this and b equal to this so a plus b is equal to a1 plus b1 a2 plus b2 a2 plus i mean a3 plus b3 an plus bn it belongs to real numbers rn <coughs> so closure is satisfied then associativity so this is very simple you just go over the calculations it will give you the same result associativity for that you can calculate it like this so let x y sorry i it's not x y z it will be a b and c okay so this is how it comes a b c again just know this calculations you will get you will get to know how this came i mean how we arrived in this result see if a plus b plus c that can be written as a plus in component b plus c comma b2 plus b uh, c2 comma b3 uh, plus c3 like that then again equal to a1 plus we are taking one element from here sorry yeah this side so a1 plus b1 plus c1 a2 plus b2 plus c2 like that then again a1 plus b1 plus c1 so we are taking this in this like a1 and b1 are put in the bracket and c is an outside like that okay then we can write it in this way we can put all the c c family in another bracket so a1 plus b1 a2 plus b2 like that goes plus c1 plus c2 I mean c1 c2 c3 like that so when it when i say that it becomes more complicated you just know this that is better i don't know if i have spelled wrong when i said no when when we say such basic things it happens like that so it is not that that is that is better that is better okay so a plus b plus c given to a plus b plus c next is identity now zero zero will be the identity with this addition zero will be the identity this is not it when i say things become more complicated that why that's why okay and uh, this not this then next is inverse for a a equal to this there is a unique vector minus a okay so a uh, minus a plus a2 minus a2 a3 minus a3 gives you 0 0 0 that is the identity next is similarly minus a plus a equal to 0 this is an abelian group okay minus a plus a gives you 0 and this is an abelian group you can check that the set of all 2 by 2 matrices with determinant 1 with entries from uh, rational numbers real numbers complex numbers or zp p is prime number okay is non abelian group under the matrix multiplication this group is called as special group of 2 by 2 matrices over q ir i mean re real numbers complex zp respectively this is very important we had studied gl that is general linear group of in the last class right so this is also very important again a star okay so special linear group of 2 by 2 matrices when when it is a non abelian group the set of 2 by 2 matrices with determinant 1 with entries from these sets gives you a non abelian group with mul matrix multiplication okay next is the entries are from f f is any of the above okay f is any of the above as we said before we denote this group as sl so gl was general linear so this is special linear so sl of 2 comma of f 2 means 2 by 2 matrix f means uh, rational then what uh, sorry so rational complex i forgot and real numbers then zp okay now consider sl 2 comma 75 with a equal to 3 4 For four, determinant will be minus four mod five. That is one. Okay. Z five. Again, Z five. We have we have done all these. 
calculations i won't be repeating it but i am repeating it oh god what so just go through all these okay inverse of a will be like this it's mod 5 okay that's why we got the answer like this it is mod 5 then we are multiplying it then we get this as the answer mm -hmm. as it is mod 5 20 and 15 get it get as 0 then 15 i mean 16 minus 5 into 3 1 16 minus 5 into uh, 3 again 1 yeah next is 19th one let f be any of q i uh, that is rational numbers real numbers that is any of the f ah yeah we discussed it the set gl general linear hmm? 2 comma f of all 2 by 2 matrix with all non-zero determinants and entries from f is a non-abelian group under matrix multiplication this is how it comes not this okay not this explaining it more and more makes it more and more complicated you just knot it and study okay if any doubts just let me know in the comment section so next is inverse of a this is how we take the inverse of a okay inverse of the adjoint I mean, yeah. so these are the basics of matrix and if you don't know that you won't be getting any of this okay so over the beat are over that next is yeah this we have covered in the last class general linear group of n by n matrix next is 20th the set of um, 1 2 3 4 5 till n1 that is zn okay just cut it by mistake set n so there are n elements is a group under uh, multiplicative modulo modulo n if and only n is prime mm -hmm. okay if n is prime then we can cut this sorry not all these so that's all for today's class let's meet in the next class where we'll be taking symmetries of square it is a really interesting uh, topic and Hopefully I won't make it much complicated. So thank you.